In this video, I'm going to describe the version control uh, features of SharePoint 2010 and how we can use them and why they're useful to us. So to begin with, I've uploaded a document to the uh, document library here, the audio products document library called test document. And to view the version history, I would hover over the document, click on the drop down arrow and click on version history. Now that shows that there's only one version in the version history, which is the one I've uploaded. So to create more versions, we need to uh, make some changes to the document. So what I'll do is I'll open the document in Word by hovering over the document, clicking on the drop down arrow, clicking on edit in Microsoft Word. This message is uh, advising me that I should only open files that are from trusted location. I'm happy with it as a trusted location, so I'll click OK. So now that opens in Word, and now I can make a change. So I can add some text, and click Save, and Close. Now by doing that, the uh, site has created a new version, and the previous version sits under that. They kind of work like a stack of post-it notes. So if I go to view the version history once more, we'll see that 0.1 there is the original version, and 0.2 which is on top there. Now the current version is the version I've just updated and edited. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll make one more change and then we'll start to manipulate the version. So I'll open it again in Word. Make another change, so perhaps I'll delete this paragraph of text there and click Save and Close. So now if I go to view the version history, there are several things I can do with it. So to begin with, I can open perhaps a previous version. Um, so I'll go and open this version 0.1 by clicking on the uh, date and time there. Now, because I'm working with a SharePoint document, I have um, some additional options up here at the top. It says previous version, a newer version is available. Would I like to compare or restore? So now if I click restore, then this document becomes the current version, the top of the stack. If I click compare, then the system will show me every change that is made between, has been made between this document and the current version and by whom. So we'll have a view of how the document has changed. There we are. So we see um, on the uh, the left panel here we have the changes and who, the, who they've been made by. The compared document which shows the differences between the two. So if I hover over here it says um, this text has been deleted between this version and the current version. If I look on the uh, right here we see uh, the original document which is the current version and the text that contains. And at the bottom there we see the uh, backup version which is the version where we've opened from the version history and how that looks so we can see how the documents changed as it's um, as as it's as new versions have been created so that's one way of comparing um, there's another way you can compare a slightly different way if you don't like looking at all that markup markup language and that is to open the current version so we'll open it there edit in Microsoft Word then go back to the site and open a previous version by going down to the version history and clicking perhaps version 0.1, just clicking on the, uh, the heading there. And now if we go to Word and click View, View side by side, now we can see the uh, documents next to each other. So on the left we have the backup version from the version history, on the right we have the current version, and now we can look across between the two and uh, see how those have changed. So that's another way we can, uh, we can compare. We can also restore uh, a document from the version history by uh, clicking on version history, finding the version we want to restore, so perhaps version 0.2 we feel should now be the current version, so we click on the drop down arrow, click on restore, and click OK. It says you're about to replace the current version with a selected version, so I'm going to click OK, and if we watch closely, we'll see we now have a new version at the top, 0.4. So what's happened is version 0.2 has been copied to the top so we've got that now as the current version and all the previous versions remain they've just been moved to further down the stack if you like so that's um, an example of version history in SharePoint 2010 and uh, how to use it